What's going on everybody? Toby Wayne from Toby Wayne Studios. So I actually had a request to make a video about what type of eyes do I use in my sculptures. Um, there's a whole plethora of different things that I use and it's all going to just depend on the size of the sculpture itself. Um, with that being said, I figured that I would just put together this quick little video here to kind of show you what I use and what works and what doesn't work. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Again, remember there are uh, or is no wrong way to do this. Um, it's all really just going to depend upon you and the size of the sculpture and what you have at your disposal. Uh, with that being said, uh, this is my little box of um, eyes. Uh, and you only see, notice the one that actually looks like an eye. Um, for the most part, with my sculptures, I will use BB's ball bearings. Um, I've used um, ping pong balls uh, for 1-1 scale pieces. I've also used uh, these little guys for 1-1 scale. Um, but for the most part, I use uh, just straight BB's and also the ball bearings. Um, and you can get ball bearings in several different sizes, which is what's awesome about it because, you know, again, it's going to depend on the size of your sculpture. If you're doing a smaller scale bust, uh, maybe, you know, four to six inches or somewhere in there, uh, you know, a BB to a, a smaller ball bearing is going to work best for you. If you do a bigger piece, of course, uh, you know, the marbles uh, work great. Um, you know, the only thing that throws me with marbles is if you... Um, you know, the, the wavy patterns of glass in the marbles or these crazy um, textured BBs or marbles. I don't use these because, you know, the silicone is going to pick up whatever is on here. So, um, you know, with that being said, I usually discard these ones that have the little texture um, pieces of glass on them. But I, I do use uh, marbles for a lot of these things. And what I'll do is I'll actually... Uh, take a uh, primer, white primer or gray, whatever you, or black for all I care. I've, I've used all three colors, whatever works best for you. And you can actually um, prime these black or white. Um, and so you're not getting distracted by the colors of the, the glass swirls here. Um, so these work really good. Just make sure that when you prime them that you seal them really good so that the paint doesn't come off. And then from there, you can actually um, sculpt on uh, the anatomy of the eye if you want to just put a little bit of extra layer on top of there um, so marbles work great you can find marbles anywhere um, which is awesome um, I, I find mine at you know Fred Meyers or Walmart or Target or wherever it is that you guys live in the world um, I'm sure if you go down the toy aisle there will be marbles everywhere so <laughs> that's what I use uh, for a lot of my larger scale stuff uh, ball bearings and BBs you can find in your uh, sporting department, uh, sporting goods stores. Um, it just, again, really depends. You can usually, you can find um, slingshot ball bearings uh, in, in department sporting goods stores. And again, Walmart, Freddy's, Target, all of those places should have a sporting goods department and they have those there. Um, the larger eyes, uh, I've can order through uh, monstermakers.com. I believe that's what the website is. They they sell all sorts of these eyes. Uh, these are um, acrylic. And then you can get as fancy as you want by actually getting um, purchasing glass eyes. Those are a little more expensive. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're doing a one-off... Um, you, you know, you might want to consider, you know, like acrylics or if you want to get fancy, do the glass. But just know that if you're baking, you know, clay around it or whatnot, uh, uh, you will lose those eyes as they move on through the piece because um, it'll go with it. Um, but you can do resin castings and Dremel out the um, behind the eyes and then just insert the acrylic eyes. Uh, Monstermakers.com has those. Uh, one of the other things that you can do is uh, go through taxidermy shops. If you're doing a monster or an alien of some sort, taxidermy shops offer amazing eyes because as you can imagine, uh, animals, uh, goats, sheep, all these uh, creatures have a, a amazing uh, crazy eyes and uh, you can order just about any kind of animal eye. I've, I've ordered uh, raccoon eyes. It's, you know, they're very creepy <laughs> and they do a great, and they have come in all sizes. Um, taxidermy shops are awesome too because they have 
um, you know, other things, uh, other forms like uh, jaws, tails, uh, horns. And believe it or not, honest to the good Lord, I was just on the website earlier, they actually sell testicles. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I would ever put testicles on a sculpture for, but hey, you never know. Maybe one day. But honest to God, they have testicles on the website uh, <laughs> that you can put on there. So I, I found that interesting. Um, and that's uh, there's a great place, uh, Research Mannequins Taxidermy Supply. Uh, you can just look them up in Google. They're actually out of, uh, I believe, Lebanon, Oregon. Um, super, super fast turnaround, quick, super nice people. I go with, I'm fortunate if I can actually just walk in there and, and walk through and look at all the, the forms and the bases. And they have, they actually have materials in there too, like uh, sculpting tools and um, airbrushes. If you ever are interested in getting a, a, night, a decent airbrush, they've got them in there. Uh, resins and the such. Uh, not so much the resins that I use to cast out my stuff. I uh, use Smooth On for that stuff, but uh, you know, they've got just all kinds of stuff and also testicles. So anyway, uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, super quick little video here to kind of show my setup here of what I use for my eyes. Um, but yeah, you, and also I guess you could, I should say that you can actually take uh, clay either in its unbaked form, like if you're using an oil-based clay, you can actually roll up and make a, um, a size of an eye, whatever you need, and then just scoop out and put the eye in. Or if you're using um, like, a, like a Super Sculpey, you can actually roll the eye, bake it, and then you can have, you know, insert those into the, the sculpture. So hope this helps. Uh, this kind of just gives a little bit of a view of what it is that I use for my eyes. So anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the suggestion for the video. Uh, I believe it was Alfred that was looking for that. So uh, ho Alfred, I hope this helps. Please feel free to leave any comments uh, and uh, suggestions for future videos in the comment section below. And I will be putting the links to the websites uh, that I have used to find eyes. So and or testicles. <laughs> so anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you for checking this video out. And as usual, I will catch you in the very next video.